oceans cover over 70% of the Earth's surface and they play a vital role in regulating the Earth's climate and its weather patterns. But melting ice caps are affecting our oceans, which in turn is affecting our climate. Hello and welcome to Ocean Science in Your Kitchen. In this short series, we'll be using simple experiments to investigate how changing ocean currents are affecting our climate. Water in the oceans moves in patterns that we call currents. Winds drive ocean currents in the upper 100 meters of the ocean surface. However, ocean currents also flow thousands of meters below the surface. These deep ocean currents are driven by differences in the water's density, which is controlled by temperature, thermo, and the salinity, haline. So this process is known as thermohaline circulation. Salinity is the saltiness or amount of salt dissolved in a body of water. My name is Patricia and in this video we'll be investigating salinity and the sea. We'll be building on concepts introduced in video one in our Ocean Science in Your Kitchen series. So if you haven't watched that video yet or done the experiment, then pause this video and come back when you have. Are you ready? Then let's investigate ocean currents a bit further. For this experiment, you'll need a glass containing a saltwater mixture made by adding about one tablespoon of salt to 150 milliliters of tap water. If you've just completed the experiment in video one and still have your glass of salt water, remove the egg and pour out half of the salt water. You will also need 100 milliliters of tap water colored with food coloring. You'll want to use a darker color so blue or black food coloring is best. You can ask an adult to help you with this part because it can be a bit tricky. Add some of the colored tap water to the glass containing the salt water. What do you think is going to happen? Well, as we can see, the colored tap water ends up floating on top of the salt water. And if we have a careful look, well, we can see that some of that colored tap water actually does end up mixing in with the salt water. But why does the colored tap water float on top of the salt water mixture? In video one, we learned that tap water has a lower density compared to salt water. So this explains why the tap water floated on top of the salt water. We also saw that some of the tap water began to mix in with the salt water. So what does this tell us about how our oceans work? Well, as the salinity of ocean water increases, so too does its density. When ocean water freezes into icebergs and ice sheets, that ice is made from pure water. The salt gets left behind in the surrounding ocean water and increases that water's salinity and density. If the density of that water gets high enough, it starts to sink. The sinking ocean water causes lower density water to rush in to take its place. And this process creates convection currents in our ocean. So salinity is driving ocean currents. But what does all of this have to do with climate change? Well, increasing global temperatures are causing the polar ice caps to melt and the melting ice caps are releasing fresh water into the oceans. That fresh water mixes with the ocean water and reduces the ocean water's salinity and density. The reduction in density in the ocean water means that that water doesn't sink as quickly as it would have. And this is leading to slowing down in thermohaline circulation. And that slowing down of thermohaline circulation is in turn affecting our weather. And we'll learn a bit more about this in our third video. Well, there you have it, the relationship between salinity and the sea. Why don't you have a go and try the experiment yourself? Want to take it a bit further? Can you find objects that will float in the salt water, but not the tap water? Try a grape and a piece of carrot. What would you need to do to create three layers of colored water? If you do have a go, 
take snaps and tweet them to us at ROG Astronomers and include the hashtag Ocean Science. That brings us to the end of our second video in our Ocean Science in Your Kitchen series. In our third video, we'll be exploring the relationship between temperature, salinity and the sea. What are you waiting for? Head on over to video three.